Hey, what's up, guys? So it's that time again. It's Sunday, and it's real talk time. Um, <sighs> the topic today is religion. Um, that's a really big and open subject, but I'm gonna just tell you about my my. I don't really follow any religion. I don't really. I follow. I call myself. A follower of Christ because I don't like labels especially what the world sees as Christians as labels because I was just talking with some other people in last night um, and they're like yeah well Christians are liars and Christians are fake and Christians are this and Christians are hypocrites and stuff and you know what I just told them you're right you they are most of them are and you know and got me thinking you know I've been thinking about this a long time um, you know, I I mean, if somebody asks you, so are you a Christian, then to not confuse them, I always say, yeah, I follow. But then I always explain, uh, but I'm not bound by a denomination or a religion. You know, I just, you know, you just read the word and, you know, follow Christ. That's, you know, you don't have to, because if you follow man, and I know you need, like, pastors and stuff. I'm not saying to get, leave your church and go on your own, but, um... Uh, you need guidance and stuff, I understand that, but, um, really search the word and find your faith, you know, because everybody's going to have their different opinion, um, and, anyways, uh, this, uh, the people I was talking to, one of them was like, well, I have religion, it's just not yours, and so I, I let him explain and stuff, and he was like, but he's, He's explaining, oh, this is what we do, and this is what this does, and this is what we believe, and stuff. But he's always constantly talking about, oh, well, I'm sad, or I'm lonely, you know, uh, I have no joy, and stuff. And so, I'm just like, well, so what is, what, who, who do you follow? What's your, what's your God? What's your uh, go-to person? Who's your head honcho? Cause, and he was like, well, I don't know, the highest rank, or whatever he said. And I was like, well, ultimately, I didn't say this to him, but... In reality, ultimately, it's Satan. Because you either serve God or you serve Satan. There's no other in-between. Um, and anyways, yeah, he keeps saying he's, like, miserable and lonely. And he just can't sleep and stuff. And I was like, well, because the person who you're following, there's three things that he only does. He comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. Uh, but I told him my savior, my God, came here to give me peace and to give me everlasting life instead of everlasting death. And he died for me. And even if I was the only one on this earth, he would still have gone through all what he had to go through on the cross just for me. And that's awesome. I mean... And evolution and this and stuff, why, how do you not believe that? Okay, you can believe that something came out of nothing. Or, let's go with the uh, Greek mythology or stuff. You can believe that there is a half man, half fish, half horse, centaur thing, and uh, all this weird stuff. But you can't believe that a man came down from heaven, died for your sins because he loved you so much. And wants to ha give you peace, wants to give you life, and people can't believe that. I just can't, I just can't wrap my mind around how you can't believe that or know that there's no God. How can you, the reason you think there's no God is because you didn't search him out. <laughs> because he's there. And I feel him every day, live with him every day, and talk to him every day. I couldn't live without, you know, the God that I'm in a relationship with, you know? <clears throat> it was like, why do you cry all the time? Because it's awesome, you know? It makes you feel, I don't know, it's undescribable. Especially like when I worship and stuff, you know? It's, I can't explain it. Especially when I got uh, what they call uh, filled with the Holy Spirit and stuff, you know? That is the most undescribable, most amazing thing I have ever felt. And nothing ever can replace it or do that unless it's the spirit.
nothing can ever come close to that. And anyways, I just challenge you guys to, if you're questioning whether God's real, or if you are looking at other religions, or stuff like that, and you hear, I'm pretty sure, especially if you're in America, you heard about Christianity and stuff, and you have questions, if you have somebody to go to, go to them. But if you have questions and you can't, and just like the other person I was talking to last night, he was like, well, I have questions and nobody else has been able to answer them. And then the other person who was with him that I was talking about, talking to was, um, well, yeah, all these Christians, all these people, they're all that. They're looking at the person. They're looking at uh, the religion part. So I challenge you guys, this is not really the question of the day. I might have one. But a challenge is if you're questioning something, Go into the Word. Go into the Bible. Pick one up. They're everywhere. Um, and just study. And, and, and if you don't know, because that's hard to study the Bible, if you don't know what you're looking for, just talk to God. I would say pray. It's technically praying. But uh, just talk to God and ask Him the questions because He's the one that has the answers ultimately. Even if you, you, know, you go through your past or something, he can give you the knowledge part, and he can give you the some you know spiritual part, but God's gonna give you the real answer. So, if you're looking for religion, just ask somebody. If you're looking at Christianity, don't just stand by and watch because we're imperfect. We're human, you know. Everybody's imperfect, you know. We're not gonna get it a hundred percent. I struggle with things. I struggle with worldly things. I struggle with, you know, my struggles is, you know, uh, I like worldly things, you know, I like movies, I like music, you know, uh, even though I don't, I don't believe it's going to send me to hell if I watch, you know, a movie, but it hinders my relationship. And that was what it ultimately comes down to, is when I used to go to church when I was younger, I didn't like church and I was bored with it because I was looking at it as like school, like teach, uh, like rules you can't do this you can't do this you have to give this up and you have to give this up but when you turn that into a I have to give this up to a I want to give it up because of what he has done from you it becomes easier you want to do it and that's what I always pray every day to give me a desire to hate the things of the world and give me a desire for him and trust me, if you pray for that, he'll give it to you. Anything, most of the time, when you pray for it and you earnestly, with all your heart, want it, he'll give it to you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's about it I have for you guys. I was just going over this in my mind while I was playing the drums, worshiping on the drums. And I was like, oh yeah, I still got to do a real talk. <laughs> so I was trying to get all my thoughts back together and stuff like that. So, um... I don't know what I want the question of the day to be. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Okay, I'll leave it open for you guys. Um. I'm gonna try. Uh, I don't know if I can answer everything, but if I can't, um, I'll give it the best shot I can. But uh, if you have any questions about Christianity or God or Jesus or anything. Just leave them in the comments or on Facebook, and I'll try my best uh, to answer them or to guide you to a scripture or something like that. So that's going to be my question of the day for you. Um, it's been real. <laughs> I'm going to try to give like an outro or something. Like It's been real, <laughs> something like that. Anyways, guys, so I guess I'll see you next Sunday.